name is Finch and I'm a street artist in San Francisco. I paint what I call contemporary pop art, which is meant to be specific enough to give you some idea of what I do, but vague enough that I can kind of do whatever I want. But it's typically either everyday objects or it's objects from nature. Pop art is that there are these objects around us that are inherently beautiful and it takes the artist to point a finger at it and ask you to view it like art. There's a lot of care that goes into these objects and so maybe you feel a little bit more loved if you realize that we're kind of surrounded by designed objects. You kind of take it all for granted because there's just too many objects to really think about but the artist just asks you to look at one maybe for a point in time. To me street art is just like a tool to get to somewhere that's better. Concrete is canvas walls or canvas. The interest of artists in creating public art is enormous, but the willingness of landlords to permit their walls to be painted is actually quite low. To me, it's sort of, it's just like a concept that needs to be spread. And so partly I hope with my work that when someone sees that, they're like, oh, I really like that. And so it's kind of just trying to get, acclimate people to it. And then hopefully we end up in a world where if the building is not historical or architecturally interesting, you know, there's a lot of like, Soviet era, 1970s, you know, brutalist concrete monoliths that are just perfect canvases because they're totally flat, right? And, um, and yeah, like we should just paint those, all of them. So this is a 35 by 50 foot mural that is comprised of four honey bears. Um, they are artist bear, sort of represent the Centene Center for the Arts and the Arts and Education Council and activities that happen within this building. There's the violin bear to kind of represent the Powell Symphony Hall and the Fox Theater and the Sheldon, which are all nearby. Then there's the Blues Bear, just to commemorate the fact that the Blues won the Stanley Cup. And then the last one is the Fancy Bear, I call it. Some people call it Top Hat Bear. And that's sort of the Gilded Age history of St. Louis. I call it a universal symbol of happiness. It's something that we all had as children. It's a very surreal object. Like, why is there honey in a bear? You know, it doesn't make any sense, and I like that about it. So again, it's pointing the finger at the object. I mean, like, think about this object as an art object. So when I first painted it, it was done on a park wall, and people really had a strong, positive response. So then I went out and started painting them on mailboxes um, in the Mission District of San Francisco. And after maybe one night more or two nights more of doing them, I was like, this kind of feels like graffiti. It's like repeating the same image over and over again. And I wanted to do something that was like that because we like repetition, but I wanted to make it well, like you're kind of in on the game. And then now I've realized that I can just tell stories with the bears. So in this case, I can adapt it to the building and the community. It's a very adaptable image, but it still has this kind of underlying whimsy 